this week's episode, we begin Castle Grayskull Dice Tower, Part 1. We begin by cutting out a section of foam board, peeling off one side of the backing, and then texturing it with a ball of aluminum foil. Here we begin to measure out the sections for the brickwork. Here we measure out one and a half centimeter section of foam. And then cutting along the length. Make sure you have your blade sharp and are cutting at the correct angle or you will get tear out like I did here. After you have a uh, lot of the lengths cut up, you can start cutting those into your brick sections. Here you have a lot of bricks. I'm going to take the bricks, um, stick some stones into a cup, and uh, shake them up like hell. Separate the rocks from the finished foam bricks. And again, repeating the process until you have all your foam bricks finished. Take a planter's cheese balls container. Jalapeno cheddar variety is disgusting, by the way. We're going to um, plan out a door to cut out from the middle of it. I'm taking a folded piece of paper here, just drawing out a rough half door shape and then cutting along with some scissors. And then I'll be testing it for size against the uh, container here. This shape seemed good, so I went ahead and used a big black sharpie marker to show me where the edge of the door will be once uh, we have all the bricks attached. Here I'm cutting out some of the internal bouncy dice bouncy parts. Um, I just went with a half circle from the can and tried just shoving it in there to see how that would fit. Um, seemed to be okay, keeping one at an angle there. We're going to try and copy it to make another for it to uh, fall out the door from. You'll see more of that later. Tried using some scissors to get a nicer rounded edge. Uh, we had to rip out some of the cardboard to keep the edge nice and round, but uh, it's cardboard. It's going to look like, eh, no matter what you really do to it. Stickers on the back of cardboard make it a little bit more annoying to cut, by the way. Here we're going to cut out a little bit of the middle of the bouncy parts, just, you know, add a little bit more flair to them, a little bit more, not such a sharp edge for the dice to fall over. I don't know. I just thought it looked more interesting. And now we're going to begin uh, brick placement using some um, quick set tacky glue. Uh, placing the bricks around where the edging of the door would be. Um, just following along in a nice uniform pattern, alternating sections of the bricks so we don't have them line up. Got a uh, decently covered. Now we're going to cut out the door shape. You can still see the black outlines where I have uh, previously drawn that. And now we're going to cut away the foam and then begin to use the blade of the exacto knife just pressing it in over and over again to cut out smaller sections of it kind of like a, a sawing action when you're cutting away the base of the uh, door frame you want to go a little bit higher because again it's uh, got the internal metal structure at the bottom and you want to keep that free uh, now we're going to be gluing in the cardboard bounce part i'm using the edge of the glue gun to kind of even out the glue, and here we are glued in all of the internal structure. Um, here is a section of board that I made using some craft foam, um, just imprinted on there using some sharp objects. I'll show you that in a later episode. Uh, just trying to get the right shape for the uh, area. This also helped for dampening the sound because it is a uh, softer, squishier foam. Um, gluing in here a filler piece because the glue didn't quite fill up the entire base of the uh, structure and I wanted to have a nice even section. And here I'm going to be showing it's the uh, glued on the internal wood <laughs> foam. 
We're making a second section, going ahead and uh, just cutting that out in the same shape as the cardboard. This time we're not going to be putting wood on the texture of it. We're not, we're not going to texture this section at all. We're just going to go ahead and glue it in there, place it in. Um, probably wouldn't smart to use uh, hot glue, but that would have left lumps. The, super, the tacky glue uh, does squirt out. As you saw, I had to pull some out there. But uh, it does take a lot longer to dry. And here we're using a edge of a sharp rock to push in the corners of some of the um, stones that were sticking out a little bit too far. Um, overall, the base structure is finished. It's uh, nicely rounded. Uh, the dice fall out of it pretty quietly. And um, after this, we'll be going on to sculpting the teeth and um, the rest of the eyes for Castle Grayskull, along with the top, and then finally the base area for the dice to uh, all into a tray. Thank you for sticking around for part one of our dice tower build. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave them below. And I look forward to hearing from you in part two. And don't forget to LSD. That's like, subscribe, and ding the bell. Ding.